your stats still compared very favorably to the Mackey winners and finalists? Just how was that difficult at all to take that in that you were you were very much on pace to be in that conversation? Honestly, not really. I'm, it's whatever. Uh, like I, I would love to be to be there. Love to finish the season and keep the stats that I had. Uh, kept like kept at the pace. Uh, I would have been. I would have done really good. The, honestly, it was, I was to a point where. You know, God has a plan for me, so I was just, like I said, I was just super covered in it. Um, kind of just whatever happens, happens, and um, I was just happy that I had the season that I had to a certain extent. How long have you been uh, thinking about the Combine? Because that was sort of like the next thing for you to compete at. Yeah, um, well, once I tore my ACL, and then uh, I was talking to some of the agents, and they're like, yeah, you'll probably get an invite to the Combine, you won't do anything. That you still want to go and show your face and tell them who, like, show them who you are. So, yeah, that I was, I've been looking forward to this day for a while now. Uh, super happy to be here. Super grateful. I, this, the interviews is all I'm doing, so I'm trying to make that as the, try to really express who I am and be intelligent when they ask me plays and stuff like that. So, is it killing you not to be able to work out? Here? A little bit, yeah. Because then again, they 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 do watch my film and they say like we rely on that. But, uh, it would be it would be cool to go out here and run. I don't know a good forty time. I, I would say I can run a four six five uh, and do a bend. I don't know. It, yeah, it, it sucks, <laughs> but um, I'm just happy to be here. Grateful to be here. So it's all good. Did you do anything specific, knowing that the interviews for you was going to be everything? Did you do anything specific to prepare for that? Yeah, I was. Uh, I do. I am decently at interviews. I would say I, I'm kind of. You're I'm doing great right now. Thank, thank you. Thank you. By the way. <laughs> But yeah, there was. Uh, I met with my agent, and uh, he brought down a coach to kind of help me through the what they're kind of looking for, what they're gonna ask you. So I was kind of going through plays to write out, uh, just remembering my offense because they asked me a lot about that. Uh, just being prepared to write an over versus an under front, odd front, stuff like that, coverages and like that. So kind of going over that stuff. Will you be able to work out at all before the drafts? Yeah, uh, I could work out beginning of April or kind of mid-April right before the draft but um, I, a lot of people are telling me there's no not really no really point um, just they want they would rather me be healthy for uh, the, ne the next step for the for the day so uh, camp and stuff like that so I have thought about it still kind of thinking about it. got talking to my doctor trainer and agent about it uh, it is a possibility at this time, I'm kind of just focused on right now, just going, enjoying this and taking it all in, and super grateful. you got a lot of teammates here, including Shane. How impressive is his durability having to start all these games up left Oh, when people ask me who the toughest player on our team is, I sh I say Shane Lemieux. He's played. He's. When you look at the uh, the, the, the kind of calendar, do you have a, a time when you feel like you're you're shooting to be able to get back to you know, like regular football activities? Would it be mini camp or the start of training camp or something like that? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to mid April is, is when I want to be at least being able to run routes and kind of hit the sled and do do a lot of football movement. And then as I progress, uh, yeah, mini camp is when I want to be 100 percent and being able to do everything.